what a day. I have to say that I am probably the most exhausted I have been in a long time because keeping up with our leadership ambassadors on a day like today where they were just so excited about all the wonderful things we got to go do in Washington, D.C., it was a challenge. Our morning started with a talk from Ken Duberstein, the former chief of staff for Ronald Reagan. He had some great insights for our leadership ambassadors about working so close with the leader of the free world. Leadership is all about keeping your friendships and your relationships at home, school, and work strong, honest, and true. I had a chance to catch up with Mr. Duberstein after he spoke with the students to ask him what young people can do to be involved in their community and nation. Take an interest, learn about uh, government, how our laws are made, how our Supreme Court works, how our legislature works, how the presidency is supposed to be the leader of the so-called free world. You're a better citizen of America so that you fundamentally can help change America for the better. After the interview, I was on the bus and on my way to Washington, D.C. with a group of leadership ambassadors. What are you guys most excited to do today? Uh, go see the Smithsonian. Go see the Smithsonian, the uh, Air and Space? I want to see the Spy Museum. <laughs> spy Museum. That's awesome. a lot of fun. Yeah. Do you know I'm a spy, secretly? Are you really? Cameraman's just my cover. Our first stop was the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum. I couldn't take any video inside, but I did get some photos. This museum was a great chance for students to not only learn about aerospace technology and history, but also about leaders like President Kennedy, who helped shape the technological future of America. From there, we headed across town to Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. We saw a lot of familiar faces, but one really stood out. Do you think Eisenhower would be proud of what People to People has become? Absolutely. To see all these students come year after year and just to put forth his, his motto of world understanding, he'd be super proud of everything that People to People is doing for our country. Hear that, Ike? We're carrying on your mission. I'm also pretty sure this is the closest I'll ever get to a president currently in office. Finally, we have the chance to finish our time in D.C. by visiting two national monuments. And in the next couple days, we'll get to see even more. After dinner, we had the privilege to hear from Mary Eisenhower, the president and CEO of People to People International. Uh, last but certainly not least, uh, I would like for all the international uh, people in this room to stand up. All the international people, please. All the international people. She offered some valuable insight into the leadership of President Eisenhower and the birth of the People to People movement. I asked her about her grandfather afterwards. In context of how I knew him personally, he had a laugh that would start in his little toe and come all the way out of his mouth. It was a big belly laugh. And every time he laughed, you'd have to laugh. You might not even know what he was tickled at. But after that, um, the things that he taught us and all that, his integrity and his honesty and uh, his true love of his country. Today was an exciting and adventurous day. A quick note before I sign off for the night. Because we have an early morning for inauguration on Monday, I'm not gonna have the time to edit a video for Sunday until later. I promise you will still see what leadership ambassadors did that day and you'll still have to put up with me.